In this video, we're going to go over how to lay out the stringers in the unsupported part of the book. This would be the bottom of the landing and uh, probably just providing you with an example of something to think about when you're laying out the stair stringers of something that you might not want to do. And that would be to lay out a stair stringer and use some type of... Um, you know, you need, it'd be nice to have a hanger or something that the that will support the bottom of the stair stringer. In these two examples here, the stair stringer might not be supported as well. So we can't just draw a straight line and um, expect to nail the stair stringer into something. It's not going to be supported very well. The, the nails or the screws could loosen up. So something like this isn't going to be um, isn't always going to be the best idea. And then um, thinking about, you know, marking marking something even with the joist five and a half inches, whatever the joist size would be, and then squaring it off without the general understanding of how it's going to be supported again. Uh, most stair I mean, most joist hangers that you'd be using um, for to support a stair stringer. I don't think they're over two inches wide. So in this case right here, I believe it's about three inches. So you are going to have a certain section of the stair stringer that wouldn't be supported. And if that's the case and it actually cracked there, it could severely weaken the stair stringer and uh, create problems for it. So